Hey guys, Scott, welcome back to another Scott Owns Football video. Today I'm going to be listing the Premier League club's home fans and atmosphere. I'm going to be doing it from elite to poor. So it will be elite, very good, poor, no, I mean, I mean it will be elite, very good, good, okay, poor. I hope it... Poor. Uh-uh. I am trying to do daily videos now at the moment because I haven't, had, haven't really done many at the moment because I haven't really been filling up to doing too many videos. But now, I just want to get back to doing daily ones if I can. So, right. The first section, it, uh, this is this, this is what I've got down. I'm going to be doing it. I wrote down my ideas ready to do the video. Right, so let's get into the video. The first section is elite. I've gone for Seth. I got. I put Sheffield United in there. Bram, uh, Bramall Lane. I think the Sheffield United fans make a really good atmosphere at Bramall Lane, and I think Bramall Lane is a really good place to go. Well, years ago, years and years ago, Sheffield United used to be in the Premier League, but I think they had some relegations. In. I don't know how many it was. When when Wilder comes in, I think Wilder came in. They were in League One. And I think he got them promoted, and actually, I think they won the title in League One. And then the second season, I think they got near the playoff. I think they got that. I think they got near the playoffs that one season. And then the second season, he finished second and got automatic promotion. And this season, there was seventh in the Premier League. That is a remarkable story. Chris Wilder was born in Sheffield, and what a story for them to be promoted from League One. And then the championship for about two seasons, and then in Premier League, and then seventh in the, and then seventh in the sixth or seventh in the league. Right, next one, Everton. Well, I think Everton, Goodison Park, is a really good venue. It creates a really good atmosphere, and the Everton fans are pretty. I think the Everton fans are quite class. Well, this season has been a bit difficult for them this season because this season, I think Everton are a really good side, but I just think since. Well, Marco Silva, since he got him out, they've done all, they've done quite well since he got him out. I didn't think much of Marco Silva as my idea, though, really. Like, uh, Carlo Ancelotti is great manager. He, is. he used to manage Napoli. He was the world's best manager, he is. So next season, I I think Everton next season will be up near the Europa League, Champions League, Europa League places next season, I think. Well, maybe not Champions League, but I think Europa League mid-table next season. Right, the so next one's Aston Villa. Well, I've got to be fair to them, even though I don't like them that much, but I don't really like them because you're not supposed to like rival teams. I think he, most of the time this season, I think they've lost most of the time this season. But well, wherever they go, right, they're always singing for a lot of the game they are, even if they're, like, losing... Against Man City at home, when they were losing about six, five or four or five, five or six nil, they were still singing at the Villa were. But I think a few have walked out before then, no, though, nearly had. Right, I've got Wolves next. Well, Molyneux, we all ne know it needs a redevelopment and it does need expanding. Because I think it creates a really good atmosphere and the South Bank is always boun bouncing up and down with the fans in there. I think any part of the stadium you're sitting, I think, make a good atmosphere. Well, it'd be nice to them to get the plans in for redevelop the stadium, but I think, hopefully, the current, the current atmosphere is really good. That's why I got them in elite. The next category is very good. I've gone for Tottenham Hotspur, nicknamed Spurs. Right, a 6,200... 6, 6,000... 62,000 stadium, and this season... I think it's 60,000, 62,000, but they've only been getting about 58,000 all season. They haven't got 60,000 many times, though. I still put them in very good because I think they're a good, well supported club. Right, next one Newcastle United. Some people might be having an argument over this and say that, uh, why I haven't put them in the league. Well, I was going to put them in the league because, um, well, Newcastle are one of the top, I'm pretty one of the t top five best supported club in, I one of the Best supported clubs in the country, probably one of them. Anyway, the reason why I didn't put them in the league is because, um, well, they've been having problems with the ownership at home. 
and they haven't had many fans go, have they? So they've had about 40, 45,000, 42,000 a game, haven't they? So, also, a take idea I think has gone through for them, £300 million. Pound. Well, this is, they have been some questions raised over this Arabian company taking over because the this thing that's been raised about the hu- that they got a terrible human rights record, I don't know if it's true or not, but we'll have to look into that a bit more. Oh well. I'll move on to the next one. The next category is good. Well, actually, Newcastle, I think, are actually um, the one of the best three supported clubs away in the country, probably. The one of them, anyway. The Wolves and Villa are quite well supported as well. It's a good category. I've gone for Arsenal. Well, I think it can take a long time to get the Emirates into a good atmosphere. Like 1 0 to the Arsenal. 1 0. That's the song. Arsenal. I'll probably sing. To be fair, that doesn't really get them going though, really. It's not really class chance. I see where they can get certain chance from, but they're not as good chance as they could be. Next one, Chelsea. But Chelsea, Stamford Bridge, there are plans to extend it, but I think they have got decent fans, Chelsea. They have to check Chelsea, 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 Chelsea. When gets them going inside, didn't get them much as and they hasn't got some good chance though. Next one, Crystal Palace. Well, the 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 ultras in that one section at Crystal Palace. That ultras in the one section at Crystal Palace have banners and flags in there. Flags. Well, I don't think it's it's not it's not a very nice area of London and it's not it's not a very nice ground. But the any part of the away and you sit in the palace and you've got poles in the way and you can whatever seat you sit in that away stand you cannot see the game because the roof is that low down. Right, next one, um, Liverpool. Well, if it's just an occasional Premier League game like so the small teams, it's like just any other. It's like any Premier League club playing, but can you get different people turn up for games like that? But Champions League nights. Are amazing at Anfield. They are. It's a, it's a historic ground. It's a great. It's it's it's, it's a great atmosphere there. there. There's there's some things that are wrong with the ground. There's some things that aren't too wrong with the ground. Right. Next one. The category is okay. Well, I've got the West Ham United here. I don't think it's very fair to put them in poor because it's not their fault they can't create a good atmosphere at their stadium because. That London Stadium not meant for football. It's a, also it's not a very well designed stadium because the pitch is so far away from all the seats. Seats. So uh, I think they when they used to play the bowling ground, it was a great atmosphere. But I think they have great good away support though. They do have decent away support. Next one, Manchester City. Well. The Etihad, like I said about law points, if you're playing the small teams, it just feels like any other game. But it's like playing Man United, it's like rocking and stuff. It's not great, it's not great their own support. It can be like a library at times. Next one, Manchester United. Um, Well, the atmosphere's just gone down the years. Since they've had, I don't know how many times they've had, three or four since he's left. Louis van Gaal, they've had... um. Josie Mourinho, and you had the salsa. Salsa, I just think need to give him a bit of time. I think uh, at times, like well, like events about Liverpool and Man City, it feels like any other game. If you've got teams like Burnley, Bournemouth, like uh, or Brighton going or Norwich, to feel like any other game. So you've got different people coming to the ground. So next one, Leicester. Well, the King Power. I don't. It, it's quite. I think the King are quite boring. They have those clapper things that they put on the, all the seats that they can use. It's really annoying. At Wolves years ago, we ripped them up. We ripped them up. We did. So, I think they're. I think. I think they're a rock solid. Okay. Next one is Norwich. Well, I was gonna put. I was gonna put. Um, Brighton here, but I don't think they're that as good as they could be at home. So Norwich, I think they're not so good away from home, but they're a deep, they're okay at home. They're not, I think mean, they're not the greatest of fans, but they're okay. 
Right, next one, poor. Come from Burnley. Turf moor such a bad ground, it's terrible. A Burnley, no really that special about Burnley, really. Well, I praise Burnley for the English ta- investing in their own talent and Sean Dice is a great manager. I respect them for that, but oh, but they're not very good fans. I know it's better about them, really. Southampton, well, St Mary's. I don't think it's a good stadium, really. It's not a good stadium. It's, to be fair, Southampton, I can't when the Saints go marching in, but that's, that's, a, that's, a, de- that's a decent champ, but... um. It just takes a while to get an atmosphere going in that stadium. I must say, I'm a wall fan. It's not the best of ground to go to as a wall fan. It's a, bit, it's a little bit boring. It looks the same. It looks like the king pad. Just the seats are a different colour. I mentioned that in the other videos as well. If you had checked out my other video, the elite to boring categories, rank. Uh, I'm going list in the stadium, Premier League stadiums from like um. Elite to boring, so if you can check this that one out. I suggest that you do, and it's really good. Right, next one, Watford. Well, Watford, if I didn't think anywhere they go, home and away, I think they're quite poor. And Vickers Road is not a it's not a, it's not a very great ground because I because wherever you see in the ground, I don't think even one seat is sold in a section. If not even the, the sections, right? I don't even think that the, all all tickets are sold in the one section. At least there's a couple of empty se- seats in each section of Vickers Road. It's not even a huge ground, really. Next round, Bournemouth. The crowd is 10,000 10, capacity. I don't like going to Bournemouth. I think... Well, fair play to Bournemouth for Eddie Alcoring and getting them up for League Two, three divisions. That's amazing. Uh, well, the stadium is a, that's a good stadium for League One and League Two, but the Premier League ain't. Well, a Bournemouth don't really have many fans, really. They don't have a big fan base, so full respect to Bournemouth, even though Eddie Howe's a great coach. He proved one of the top coaches in the UK, England, probably in the Premier League. Next one, Brighton Hove Albion. Well, uh, when when Wolves go there, it's always very boring. I don't think it's a great away end for creating atmosphere. In, uh, apart, the only atmosphere they have at the start of the game is that song that sounds like a bit of the seaside song for the right end. But apart from that, nothing really. It's not like they're chanting. They're not singing to it. They're only they're only like clapping to it. That's all they're doing. If you enjoyed the well, really the end of the video, so if you like the video, please remember to like and subscribe. I will be uploading a few more videos, and and I'm trying to do daily videos, so. I'll, I will keep people updated when I'm streaming these videos and when they're coming out and when they are out. I hope you all have a great evening and I'll see you. I'll create some more videos soon. Uh, goodbye.